The sky's the limit when it comes to all the things we can do with technology these days, but even with all those options, some of us just want to draw. But you don't need a pencil and a pad of paper anymore. With the help of a few good apps, you can do all that on your iPad. Don't believe me? Then check out these next apps. Starting off is Brushes. This app is a bit of a celebrity in the art world. It was used to create four different covers for the New Yorker magazine, and it won the Apple Design Award for 2010. Brushes uses the iPad's touchscreen interface as a drawing canvas. Of course, there are some serious features that come with an app like this. There are 19 brushes at your disposal, as well as a playback feature, a zoom capacity of 3200%, a toggle visibility feature, and opacity adjustment features. But these features are only there to assist you in the creative process. The drawing apps rely on you to meet them halfway. You can certainly adjust and mess with the work of art you've created, but you need to create something to get the full use of the app's abilities. Next on the canvas is Sketchbook Pro. This app is no slouch either, as it was Macworld's drawing app of the year for 2010. Similar to brushes, Sketchbook Pro gives you a canvas on which to create. Whether you're a graphics designer, professional artist, or just enjoy doodling and sketching, Sketchbook Pro lets you create on the go. The features here are similar, but you have 75 brushes rather than the 19 that Brushes has. There are pencils, pens, stamps, markers, and a smear tool, and a whole bunch more. And just like Brushes, you can adjust the opacity, rotate, reorder, and scale. There's also a text tool with all the fonts on your tablet at your disposal. Looking closer, you'll find that these apps share some of the same problems, like price and the iPad's lack of pressure sensitivity but the pros still outweigh the cons. Sketchbook Pro is definitely easier to learn on and therefore less frustrating to create on. It also offers a wider range of artistic tools like brushes and markers with which to create. Lastly, options that you have when exporting your final masterpiece are also greater on the Sketchbook Pro. Other things that both of these apps share is the need for the user to be artistic and to create something. Let your artistic genius flow and illustrate to the world the true power of art in the purest form. I call this one Frozen Darkness. And this one, Love in the Springtime. <laughs>